This is Ray's No Drag Generator 3. Subject of the video is the test for over unity effects within the system. As a total system or as a whole, it is not over unity. It cannot drive or charge itself. But there may be an over unity effect taking place within that system. Not enough to overcome all the losses of friction or motor requirements, but still measurable. I assume that you've watched raised no drag generator one and two. I'm going to try some uh, different frequencies or different uh, drive voltages. I made some changes. One is the magnet itself. It was very sensitive before. The coil does not like going past these edges very well. Seems like the sensitivity uh, drops off and you don't get much effect. So I went ahead and put uh, two one half inch square metal bars about two inches long. And you can see that there. That's how the magnet is set so that the neutral zone is in the center. The north face is out here and the south face is down there. One of the theories I was thinking about uh, is this neutral zone which I showed on number two. Uh, that splits the north and the south, so they both cancel each other out. You can take a piece of metal and run your nail around there, and it doesn't pull. But if you get off a little bit, it very suddenly and strongly it pulls over to the side. Well, in conventional magnetism, uh, they say the north coming around and the south coming around, they neutralize each other out and you get a neutral zone. <clears throat> well, could it be that the neutral zone itself is a generator uh, source of the, both the north and the south poles instead of the south and north making the north or the neutral zone the neutral zone is actually producing and spewing out that north and south field that's just the way my mind thinks most things go right screwed mine's left screwed so anyhow let's go ahead and uh, if you watch one and two you'll know that as the load I have uh, eight LEDs those are those blinking kinds and they don't all light up at the same time but I have about eight of them in there and uh, they uh, they're firing as a load and I have two coils this time I went ahead and did this a little bit different I want to spice things up so I put two coils on there they're around uh, 300 350 400 ohms something like that and then I run separate wires out to the LED uh, bank there. So uh, the uh, some of the assembly details, the bearing assembly back there where this is pivoting back and forth. Uh, I took a one of those spinner bearings and cut them off and put them on there. But the wooden bar that's coming out here, that's just screwed in. Uh, I use metal, but next time I'll probably use wood. That way you can screw that in and out and change your bars easier but anyhow that's that works real nicely and uh, so anyhow I uh, attached the coil I put a stick on there and glued it to the stick and then you glue this onto the main bar okay so anyhow I've got two bars and I have uh, the two uh, load banks there and uh, let's see I wanted to cover the uh, little drive motor I didn't do that last time uh, how you make that camshaft. I bring it up into a piece of wood and glue it on there and then come over and uh, you want about a quarter to a half inch uh, there. You can work with different things like that. Uh, as it gets smaller the effect is better but it doesn't put out much as much power so you got to speed up the RPM. But anyhow uh, then I put this bar here to whatever width I want and then uh, then bring my output bar over here okay let's go ahead and get some frequencies and just to be honest and fair uh, there may be other things that's working here I thought well perhaps uh, there's too much friction on the uh, shaft or the cam shaft so then when I put the uh, magnet on there it kind of smooth things out and help it work anyhow I went ahead and oiled her up real good so there's minimum uh, resistance there and I just try to think of different things but anyhow 
Uh, hope you have a lot of fun. I'm having fun with it too. So anyhow, we're going to go get some testing. Right now, we're in the over unity mode. So we'll get a RPM about 630. 630 RPM. Okay. Now, if I'm removing the load, the RPM should go up in a conventional motor because you're not loading the motor down. So it should go up. So if it goes up, or if it goes down, then we know something's kind of fishy going on. Okay. So we've dropped in the uh, RPM, and that shouldn't have done that. We took the load off, so it should have raised it up because it was not as much uh, load on it. And I can kind of demonstrate that real quick. If you uh, watch the meter load, and I'll just kind of put my hand on there. You can see the requirements go up because that has to uh, uh, take more power in to drive it. So anyhow, there's that. And uh, so I put two coils on it, changed the base motor a little bit. I widened out the field so it would uh, have a not such a strong uh, stop to it at the edges. Okay, you know, here we're going, we're firing there, we'll get the frequencies one more time. Okay. I might not have that, uh, you can play around with that magnet and get the maximum frequency. So we're somewhere around 630. 630. So we'll remove this. Now I do have this maxed out. So I'm pulling a maximum load. So I wanted to see what it was going to do when I do stuff like that. And now it was what? 630? What? It dropped. I didn't have that uh, magnet in very well. But anyhow, you can see that it dropped. The uh, load is gone. So it should have uh, gone up in RPMs. So one more time. i get that a little bit better. What's that doing? It looks like they're firing pretty evenly. around just a little bit. This is what I do. There we go. See? Went up. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this. We're firing the uh, LEDs pretty good right now. And uh, you can see the waveform. How it's up there. I'm on the... Uh, half volt per scale. You get about two and a half volts out of there. Yeah, there she is. And I went ahead and uh, I decided to go full time on research and development. Kind of a big step for me. Uh, I don't really like asking for money, but I think that I have some things that's in the uh, background that's uh, uh, really cooking. And I think it's valuable for me to get some of this stuff out there. So anyhow, there's my donate. Yeah, even a dollar uh, would help. So here we be. Thank you for watching. Make every day count.